Hey guys, um, Teach Two Lover here. Uh, this is my first video I've ever done where I've had to show my face properly. Um, this is because uh, one, that is Christmas, and two, because um, it's a special occasion because uh, Konami has decided to post the effect of tour bus, and I'm going to talk about it today in the video. Um, so I'm going to put a annotation down here. Should be here now of uh, the effect itself and I'm pretty sure if you're subscribed to anyone like Team Minority, Asian Persuasion, MKO40, Dub K Dad, probably a few other people, Dragon Duelist, Go. If you're subscribed to any of them you would have already seen that video and you already know what the effect is, but I will quickly go over it anyway. So um when this card is sent to the graveyard, uh you can target one monster in your players in either player's graveyard except Tor Bus from the Underworld and shuffle the target into the deck. So, a few things come from this, uh, one of them being the fact that uh, it's mandatory effect. So, if you do use it for a, or oh, if you, um, or also, uh, the Konami said that if you detach it from an Xyz material, as a Xyz material, um, it gets its effect because it's sent to the graveyard. It's not removed from the field, it's anywhere, so if you discard it, you get the same effect. Stuff like that. So, what it does allow you to do, like, initially, is use card, reuse cards that go to the graveyard. So you can use reuse cards that are nomies like uh, Black Luster Soldier, but you can also reuse cards like Tengu's. You can without having to avarice them back in. Um, you can, yeah, basically reuse Tengu over again, and uh, you can also use it for a synchro summon, provided that you didn't special summon it with Tor Guide, and you get to basically add the the tuner that you used or whatever other monsters you use for synchro summon. You put it back in your deck. To reuse it again, um, but obviously the main use is that when you uh, basically if you summon an Xyz monster and uh, it gets sent to the graveyard, as well as Tour Guide, who is also used as an Xyz material, you can target your Tour Guide and place it back into your deck, so um, you can draw it again and reuse it. So overall, um, it has some really good applications outside of just Tour Guide. So um, I definitely think this card is going to be quite expensive. Um, I don't think it will be as expensive as Tour Guide because on its own it doesn't do anything. Well, it does actually, no, it does have a use. It do, it can be used outside of Tour Guide but um, the fact that it has Tour Bus it won't, it won't influence people's it won't make people think outside the box as much except for the best players. Um, I try to think of myself as a good player so I do try to think of applications outside of the uh, Tour Guide theme. So um, you can discard it for Lumina or Zombie Master and then you get to add a card back into your deck. So you can reuse cards that like to gain their effects when they're sent to the graveyard or stuff like that. It does allow you to reuse stuff like Sangen, so um, that's cool. Um, so yeah, it was quite interesting that this effect came about. I mean, I was really expecting it to be something about Tour Guide when it gets special summoned by Tour Guide, or when it summoned, you can special summon a Tour Guide from your hand or something. So it was quite interesting that it didn't actually have anything to do with Tour Guide whatsoever, really. I mean, you can special summon it with Tour Guide, and it has the go on it, but that's about it. So um, it's a shame, really. I mean. I mean, it's good in a way, so that means if you pull it, you don't have to have Tour Guide to play it, but at the same time, it's not... It's okay. I think over time, it will get better. Um, it definitely is something, because of its versatility outside of the theme, um, it definitely can warrant a limit or something, but it can't target itself, which is good. Um, if it could actually put the target back in your hand instead of your deck, then that would be very broken and that would be a very bad Konami move. But the actual card itself is actually Konami being very, very rarely showing a little bit of genius and a little bit of common sense and sort of like bringing out cards that are helpful to the game and they allow different sort of uh, game mechanics to be used and sort of like it basically means that you can buy packs, open the cards and use them without having to rely on other cards in the um, from other uh, packs, so um, very very interesting card, and I really think that it has potential. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll definitely start seeing this card in decks. I think 
it will probably be three tour guides, one tour bus, and one Sangen for the, uh, for the most part. I think people might bring it up to two, um, and it works in other decks as well. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, it's level three, which is good. So you can sort of... Um, I mean, you can't really use it with TGs because TGs need to be in the graveyard at the end phase to get their effects. Um, you can't really use it with... Uh, it's oh you can use it against your opponent so you can target monster in your in your opponent's graveyard and so you can target something like Graffa and um, yeah so you know like if they do Dark War dealings and you yeah they draw you draw and then you discard Torbus and then they discard Graffa Graffa destroys something on your grave in your field and then you shuffle it back in your deck shuffle it back into their deck so they can't get the effect which is pretty good. I gotta say that's a nice little side like tech for the deck. Well, yeah. So it'd be kind of interesting to see what happens. I mean, I just think I'm so happy that it's not busted like tour guide. It doesn't really do. I mean, you know, tour guide into tour bus, and then go into Zen mains or something, and then you can just sort of go from there. I mean, it's okay. At least it doesn't really give you much advantage so much. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much it to say anyway. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a really good Christmas. Um, um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, TCG Lover out.